Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Now, by now, thank you, by now, you've probably heard of Alabama senatorial candidate, former judge, and human Cracker Barrel hybrid, <laughs> Roy Moore. Last week, allegations surfaced that when Moore was an assistant district attorney in the 1970s, he had sexual contact with a 14-year-old, which would be appropriate only if he were a 14-year-old assistant district attorney. <laughs> kind of like a douchey Hauser. <laughs> now, Moore... I'd watch that show. A horror show. <laughs> Moore, to defend himself, he went on the Hannity radio, right, to strongly make things much worse. Do you remember dating girls that young at that time? Not generally, no. Not generally, uh, no, but specifically, you betcha. <laughs> but again, not generally. Most of the time, I am not touching teenagers. For example, I'm not touching them one right now. Oh, I am? Thank God this is radio. <laughs> then, uh, more clarified. I don't remember ever dating any girl without the permission of her mother. <laughs> what? Wait, I... Wait, how did you just make this creepier? Permission from her mother? Can't She's a 14-year-old girl, not a field trip. Can't now, out. you think all of this would immediately disqualify him as a candidate, but according to a recent poll, Alabama evangelicals are more likely to support Roy Moore after sexual assault allegations. Oh, okay, I see. So Alabama evangelical is like Long Island iced tea. It isn't what it says it is, and it makes me want to puke. So, oh. so things are looking pretty bad for Roy Moore, but there's still a chance he could weather this storm. As long as nothing else, and this afternoon, a new Roy Moore accuser claimed he violently assaulted her when she was 16. And this latest accuser has proof that Moore knew exactly how old she was because he signed her yearbook. To a sweeter, more beautiful girl, I could not say Merry Christmas. Christmas 1977, love Roy Moore, Roy Moore, D.A. <laughs> that is disturbing, but it could still play well with evangelicals, because he didn't say happy holidays, okay? <laughs> That's a deal breaker. Ooh. Merry Christmas. But not everybody wants more anymore, which is why some Republicans are floating the idea of delaying the December 12th special election in order to get Moore's name off the ballot. Wait, you can just do that? <laughs> you can just move an election where you want if that's the case. Can we move the next presidential up to tonight? <laughs> tonight? <laughs> yeah, we got time. You ready? You we ready? Got time. Between now and midnight. <laughs> And today, today, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell made an even stronger statement. I think he should step aside. Or do you believe these allegations to be true? I believe the women, yes. What is this strange feeling? I... <laughs> I... And I'm not sure if this is the word. I agree with Mitch McConnell? Oh. Is this a dream? Oh. Somebody pinch me, just not Roy Moore. Oh. 